All right, so that finishes our M1 configuration. Now we just need to do um, the same steps with M2. All right. So let's go ahead and do the help. This will be familiar with us. So we're, as before, we're going to select the driver type. Tell, tell what sort of linkage we got. Actuator arm or slewing gear. Which way it starts, east or west? Are you ready to go? So, motor driver, forward, backwards, as before. Linkage, actuator arm. When this retracts, it actually goes down. So on the uh, first one it was east or west, this one it's up or down, retract. And now we're ready for our, our limit test. And as before, adjust the minimum length if needed. And then we're going to drive to the maximum position. Adjust the limit switch if needed. And save the results. Of course this has already been tuned out so we don't need to adjust the length or set the limit switch. We're ready to go though. So, adjusting the minimum. The motor is already retracted. So, Over here, Chris. We don't actually need to see the tilt right now. We're just going for the limit. I can see that's uh, it's a bit past 90 degrees. It looks like to me, maybe pretty close. I'll go just a little further. But, so I have to hit the limit switch, but that's fine by me. I'm just going to define this as the soft limit. That's as far as we need to go. So, it says 478. Good enough. Um, yeah, so now we're going to run the uh, run the pulse test. Uh, except this time we don't we, we don't need to do the test. We can use the same value we used on the uh, got from the other motor so I'm going to say no and now we're just letting us type in the actual value to use which remember it was 18 point five one so now we're going to do the uh, the ABCM measurements for our elevation axis. So, as before, measuring side A, the minimum arm length. B is that arm mount to the pivot point, i.e. our control arm length. C is the motor mount to that pivot point distance. And then our saddle clamp offset, as before. So, ready? Yep. Side A. Yes, please retract the arm. Okay, the arm is all the way retracted. So, as before, we, final result, we want the distance to here. So we're going to subtract half this width, measure to some point out here, and subtract half of that, the radius from that, to get our net length, this minimum actuator arm length. So I measured those those values and came up with the answer of 
four centimeters minimum arm length and so now the control arm so in this diagram the control arm is represented by the small b the segment between points A and C. So with this mount, the, uh, the control arm length is from the center. Here's our tilting axis. So we want to measure from the center of that bolt down to the, the center of here. So our control arm measured to be 28 centimeters. It's actually part of the design of when that was built. And C is going to be once again this distance of this mounting point to the center of this axis that runs through through here. C comes to thirty point eight. And M, the saddle clamp offset. This is just the same type of saddle clamp. So the distance from the center of here to the center of here, 4.45 4 centimeters for M. And now we're done with the trigonometry. So last step, second axis here, doing the alignment.